Yo, what's up everybody, it's Tuna. By now, I hope you guys have actually figured out the build that you want to play, but I know some of you guys are still looking for atlases to run on day one, and this video is intended for those people. I have made five atlases, which I think are gonna be very good on League Start, you know, tried and true, good mechanics that are guaranteed to give you some decent currencies. However, you're the one that's gonna have to figure out whether these um, mechanics are good for your build and whether, you know, of course, these are the mechanics that you enjoy because the most important part is enjoyment and it's going to make you want to farm more. And if you want to farm more and stay awake longer, you're going to make more currency by virtue and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, first of all, I think you're going to want to progress through the Atlas by using this tree that is linked. So I'm going to open up this tree and give you guys a quick little rundown of what it's all about. And make sure that you are using this function here at the top because I have allocated the nodes in sequence. So it's sort of like going to be taking nodes that I don't think are quite as important last over the nodes that I think are more important for the progression stage. So first of all, this atlas is, really focuses on dropping maps and it takes all of the adjacent map nodes. I have made a video about this atlas, so I'm not going to go too much into detail, but basically you're focusing on just getting as many maps as possible. And then you're going to be taking a bunch of scattering reports, which you're going to be getting once you're in uh, red maps. So that's about when you've completed 40 maps. You know, by now you should be maybe like mid yellow tier maps or so. Uh, at 60 completion because we are using unwavering vision which gives you 20 additional points there so yeah we'll be specking into some their uh, scouting reports and then from here we will be taking uh, expedition bomba and a little bit of expedition chance to start you know possibly getting some vendor rerolls because at this point yellow yellow maps you want to be getting um you know some currencies for the masters since they're, you know, for example, if you get like a ROG or something like that, you can really accelerate your itemization and make your character much better. But since maps are getting hard at this point, I decided to go for Packed for, for was it? Sorry, Packed with Energy, because Packed with Energy is going to make you basically faster, stronger, and have more defense. You know, it's going to be 100% increased damage when you've clicked all three Sulfide piles, and it's going to give you as well like 45% increased movement speed and three max resistance. So then I take a bunch of uh, chance to spawn, um, uh, you know, additional soul fight there. And that's going to be a total of 80% chance in total, I believe. And then we go for shrines to, you know, uh, further help you clear your maps and that sort of stuff. And at this point, I kind of go over here to get um, increased chance to get Danig, to get Tujin, and to get Rog as well. And that is pretty much it. At this point, I go for the Eldritch Altars because hopefully by now you should be in T14s. And that's when you want to be essentially starting to farm altars and get some currencies from them too. But I mean, at the point that you have completed this atlas, hopefully you would have unlocked your first um, preset. And then that's kind of where uh, one of these atlases comes in. So if you want to farm Legion, this is the atlas to follow. If you want to farm Beyond, this is the one to follow. And I actually pair this one up with Blight. So it's actually more of a Blight plus Beyond because of some synergies that I'll talk about a little later. And then we have Exped plus June because they're uh, on that side of the tree. And also, of course, I think Exped plus June is going to go hand in hand if you want to focus more on like early crafting and that kind of stuff. Then we have Beyond plus Delhi. This is just basically going to be the go Atlas, you know, if you just want to kill mobs and that sort of stuff. Then Ritual and Delhi. It's more of a wild card because we don't yet know how good the rewards will be from Legion. Sorry, from Ritual. Legion is going to be busted, of course, as it usually is. But, you know, if Ritual is actually insane, like if you're getting omens and that sort of stuff, that are very useful for your progression. I think this uh, ritual is just, yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. And in general, I think ritual is actually a good mechanic in early league. So let's just go through each of these atlases and talk a little bit about the passives that I've allocated so you guys can get a better idea of my thought process. So this first atlas here is gonna be the Legion plus shrines. And by shrines, I mean, uh, you know, you're gonna be getting this shrine here and a little bit of extra chance there because shrines are gonna make you clear your maps faster. And the faster you clear your maps and the stronger your character is, the more easily you'll be able to take on the legions. And yeah, in general, that's just uh, gonna accelerate your farming. And since I think you can get so much currency from early league legion, it's just probably better to focus in on just smashing as many of them per hour as possible. Although, then I also pair it with the um, influence packs as well. I think red altars early league are just much, much better than uh, blue altars. Of course, depending on what scarabs each provides, but at this, you know, at this point, it's kind of a little bit unknown. And you'll of course be able to, you know, spec one or the other, depending on which is actually better. And whether, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that whether embers or ichors 
are more expensive, uh, you know, you'll want to be maybe flip flopping between the two. Yeah. And then we just go for all of the Legion nodes, uh, except for the generals. We don't want the generals because they're just extremely annoying and bugged out for the most part as well. But you'll see a trend that we are taking packed with energy with pretty much each one of these trees. I don't know whether this notable is good, but uh, it's for one notable. I think it'll probably be decent enough to spec it. So yeah, um, keep that in mind. Maybe it's like a waste of a point. Who knows? But I don't know, who knows, maybe actually the Doom Spear is insane and that's like a little bit of extra juice that you can get. But the rest I'm focusing on getting as much Nico Chance as possible. Here you're going to be getting uh, a little bit of extra Sulfite if you do want to delve. But if you don't want to delve at all, just unspec that. No, delve is actually okay at the start of a league. You definitely don't want to be like going into delve while you're in white maps. But if you're in red maps, you could be going into delve and you seek cities. And the cities can just give a ton of maps can really help accelerate your Atlas progression and that sort of stuff, as well as provide maybe a little bit of extra currency, scarabs, and all that good stuff. But yeah, generally, you don't want to be delving um, for things outside of cities and outside of nodes that give specifically items that are, um, you know, like, for example, like gives physical items, chaos items, and that sort of stuff. So you can get curse on hit rings and yeah, those delve unique type um, of bases. Yeah, that's going to be the legion tree it's pretty simple i'm not going to really go into depth about everything here and of course uh you know you can also see what i've spec'd again with um with these here arrows but keep in mind that you know you might actually want to be editing some things here and there and you can always use these trees as templates if you want to copy them you can always just click the button uh like a button here at the top right of the screen which i'll zoom out so you guys can see it there's a button here at the top right of the screen you just click that and you can edit it as uh as you like so that's totally up to you the next tree is going to be Beyond Plus Plight. I think Beyond Plus Plight has like really good synergy because Plight is uh, one of those mechanics that just spawns so many monsters close together. And Beyond really benefits from monsters being spawned close together because all of the portals are going to be spawning in close proximity and those portals will be spawning demons. And those demons hopefully will be dropping a bunch of currency, which is the whole purpose of this tree is to be, yeah, to be getting... Um, a lot of blighted maps, of course, blighted oils, but also tainted currency in, um, you know, in combination with that. And uh, yeah, apart from that, we are going for altars. Um, altars are just going to be great. Like you want to be putting them in every tree that you run and getting a bunch of altar pack size too. And yeah, the main thing about blight is that you want to be getting the oil extractors and then putting, um, so your filter is going to default to showing you um, jewelry that is anointed. And when you use the Awaken POE trade macro on it, it'll tell you what type of oils consist, um, you know, of the enchant consists of. And you want to be using oil extractors on anything that is silver or above. And you'll be getting a lot of, uh, you know, silver and golden oils this way. More, more so than if you were just to run, you know, from opening the chests. So, yeah, getting those golden and silver oils is just like a lot of currency from the start as well. And you'll also be able to just anoint your own stuff, which is pretty cool. Then we're taking packed with energy, of course, and uh, all of that stuff too, so that we get uh, stronger through, um, you know, the azurite piles and sulfide piles, rather. Sorry. Yeah, that's the that's that's kind of the premise of this tree. I take the keystone because the keystone is going to be making sure that we don't spawn the boss. The boss is going to be very hard, but also um, it's going to sort of like cuck your your beyond demon currency drops so yeah i'd rather not do the boss but if, if you want to have the boss there you can actually unspect this it's totally up to you now this is the only alice tree which you can't actually click singular focus on like you absolutely cannot click singular focus because it's going to be blocking certain um, maps you know blighted maps from dropping because of that you know blighted maps also count as maps that are blocked by singular focus so make sure you don't click singular focus on that and one thing to mention now is like, I didn't actually click singular focus on any one of these trees because I want that to be more of a choice that you guys make, depending on whether you think it's worth to uh, sustain your favorite map or to um, drop T17 maps, right? It depends on kind of what the price of T17 maps are and whether it's worth this click singular focus is yeah, essentially just going to depend on that. But also you definitely don't want to be clicking singular focus unless you have, um, you know, like eight or so plus favorite slots. So make sure you fill that out first and then um, click single focus if you want to be just running one map and untick it if you want to be dropping T17 maps. The next tree is going to be more focused on the crafting side of things. So if you wish to craft, but you do not wish to do the lead mechanic, this is a tree for you. So you'll be focusing more on doing expedition as well as June. 
And it's very convenient because everything is squashed on the right side of the tree and you'll be able to spec into all of the expedition nodes, the, um, the June nodes as well. So you have a very high chance to spawn June naturally. And then you'll also have like additional reinforcements there, more chance to spawn June. You'll be focusing on blue altars because blue altars, they synergize quite well with expeditions since expedition skills extremely well with quantity and that sort of stuff. Then we're also taking a uh, mining byproduct too. This one, this is going to be giving you um, equal amount of Azerite, 10% chance. So it's going to be quite nice to be, you know, potentially getting a little bit of the, uh, of the resonators too. So yeah, you can use those re resonators for crafting too. That's totally up to you whether you spec this, but yeah. It's more of a crafting focused tree for you guys that enjoy that sort of stuff. But uh, who knows just how strong the lead mechanic will be. If the lead mechanic is as insane as I think it is, then probably you want to be focusing on, you know, just like specking into that. Although that is kind of an unknown and I didn't want to put you guys in the position of like, yo, you, you try this, it's going to be crazy because I don't actually know whether it's going to be good or not. I will be testing the lead mechanic and I actually released a video about my atlas and my strategy and what I plan to do for the day one. But... Uh, it's probably better that I have, uh, I, you know, you guys wait for like some information from me or something like that before you spec into that. But I, I, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty crazy. So you're probably pretty safe to click that at the expense of potentially losing out a bit of currency on day one and two. But if you're in it for the long run, you know, if you want to hang out in the league and just try out all the new things, then, you know, make sure to check out that video instead. Okay, the next Atlas is going to be the Beyond plus Delve. So this is the Kill Monsters. I have a strong build, boom, boom type Atlas. And we are taking mining by mining byproducts again. Surprise, surprise. But then we go to the left side of the tree, taking Red Altars, Beyond, as well as all of the, the Delhi nodes. And I'm focusing mostly on getting Delhi orbs as well as uh, clusters, right? You can drop these two points if you don't care about clusters, but early on, I think clusters are very valuable and people will seek them. And also like potentially crafting them will be very good too. So, you know, you can use like uh, Scour Alks or potentially just sell them off to people that wish to get higher item level bases and that sort of stuff. But there isn't really too much to talk about on this tree. You know, you'll be focusing on spawning as many deep, uh, Beyond Demons as possible, getting Altars, getting uh, Delhi Orbs and additional rewards from that. And then also just grabbing a crazy amount of Delirium Spawn Chats. This is going to be pretty much be guaranteeing you that you spawn both Delhi and beyond every map. So yeah, it's just a crazy amount of juice that we are getting from this. And it's going to be like a fun blasting atlas that I'll probably also spec into once I get my third um, my, my third preset thingy. Or, you know, once I get enough uh, regular orbs to take away my first Atlas, which would be my Atlas progression tree. All right, and lastly, this one is a bit of a question mark. It, uh, you know, a bit of a wild card tree because we don't exactly know how good Ritual, ha uh, you know, is, how it's been reworked and that kind of stuff. But we know for sure that omens are being put in Ritual, so should be pretty interesting, you know, whether you get access to them as soon as possible. And we go for Pact with Energy. We take this uh, gateway all the way over here, spec into all of the ritual chants as well as map drop chants. Uh, red altars, some more ritual, and then some delirium as well. Because when you're doing ritual, delirium actually pauses for quite an extended amount of time, meaning that you'll be able to sort of like keep your delirium up for longer. And the longer you have it up and the more monsters you kill, the more loot you get, of course, by the time it ends. So it goes pretty hand in hand. And I think it's... um. You know, they're very synergistic with each other. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, in general, uh, it's a good atlas for you guys that want to be trying out the ritual stuff. But that pretty much sums it up. Those are the trees that I put together. They might not be the best trees, but they also are like pretty focused in on um, some synergistic things. And they're going to be making sure that you guys are getting easy amount access to power through the, um, you know, packed with energy, as well as in some cases, the... Uh, the shrines as well and that sort of stuff i hope you guys have found this video helpful and i hope you guys uh you know have a good league start and that sort of stuff i've also realized that i've started saying you know a lot in these videos so i'm sorry for that i'm actively trying to stop doing that it's, it's sort of like a defense mechanism that i started doing once i uh, realized that i was saying um a lot and instead of um now i'm saying you know a lot so maybe in uh, a few, like a month or two months or maybe a year or something like that, I will adapt my speech to stop being such an annoying shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys found this uh, helpful. And yeah, just grab those Atlas trees and start blasting. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one.